relax. Go. Welcome back to my channel. I've given the second speech of level two of public relationships pathway in Toastmasters. This speech is cross-cultural understanding and I've given it at home. So I'll be sharing the speech with you now, then afterwards I'll be sharing the feedback I got from fellow members of Shannon Toastmasters and then of course my personal evaluation. Thank you Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Why you don't shake hands with women? An English guy asks an Iraqi guy. That's because we treat women as queens. Like you don't shake hands with the queen. And then the English guy goes, oh, yes we do. And here the Iraqi be like, mmm, oof. But you don't have petrol. Good evening, everybody. As you may all know, I'm coming from Iraq, and a Middle Eastern modern-ish country. Although I was in front of the culture there, and I was waiting to live in it, and I, even though I was exposed to the Western culture through the media, moving and settling in Ireland came as a shock to me. I still remember the first evening I, I spent in Ireland, where the landlord came to say hello and to welcome me to the country. My husband and I were having a dinner and I still remember that moment where a strange, a totally strange man standing in my sitting room and all the mess of, the, of our dinner, a bottle of champagne while I was in my pajamas. <laughs> in Turkey, where I got married, they have this custom of, you know, cheek kissing other people. And um, a friend, friends of a friend of my husband decided to have a dinner to celebrate our marriage. And I still remember that moment when I, who was coming from a place where we weren't accustomed to that amount of physical contact, seeing how women were lined up to kiss my husband. Thankfully, we, there's no kissing in Ireland, but that didn't prevent my CEO once from ambushing me and landing a peck on my cheek. If I was here to list all the awkward encounters I lived, I would be standing here long after the COVID-19 has long gone, but I hope you get the picture. While I was transitioning from sunny Baghdad to all, re all year around Cork, then Shannon, through half Eastern, half Western Istanbul, I learned so many lessons that I think will help me navigate through any community or culture that I am to live in. The most two uh, lessons that I want to share, you, to share with you tonight are, the first one is, I would take up the time to learn about the new settings and the, the people in it. I would, I would familiarize myself of, uh, I would familiarize myself with the way of, the acceptable way of greeting people and um, the personal space that is expected to be kept. This could be done by looking, in that, looking it up on Google and uh, yeah, there are, like tons of travel bloggers on YouTube, for example, that we can take advantage of. The second most lesson, most important lesson I learned is not to judge people over their culture or history. For me, it's a matter of getting used to what, other, what our parents or friends were practicing without a question growing up. You see, there is, like, n none of us had ever the chance to pick who, where parents were, or, like, 
want our language to be our first one. So I'd encourage people to explore other cultures and society, societies and accept them as they are. But that doesn't mean that we adapt to every aspect of their lives and reject everything they are not accustomed to out of fear of getting them offended. We can always decide what works and what doesn't work with us. And let's do ourselves a favor while doing that and enjoy ourselves and have a laugh about it. Build rapport with other people and we can always like, uh, develop our communication skills, like storytelling, hence what I'm doing right now. Before I end this session, there's this notion that desperately needs to be addressed. There's this misconception of if I was to embrace or blend in another culture other than, my, other than my mother one, then I'd be abandoning my identity that I spent my whole life shaping. I don't agree with that. I refuse to pick a culture over the other. You see, in less than two years' time, I'll be eligible to get the Irish passport. And when the time comes, I'll be saying to myself, I don't need to, I don't need to decide. I don't need to choose. I am Iraqi and I am Irish. Thank you very much. The feedback I got from the members was about uh, the structure of the speech, hand gestures and the sense of humor. Also, the presentation was clear and the topic was interesting. My personal evaluation is, unfortunately, I'm not that happy with this speech. I could see that I wasn't that comfortable while giving it. My shoulders were very stiff and the way I moved my palms. Plus, I forgot what I was supposed to say five times. Anyway, now it's behind and I better focus on the next one. Stay tuned and be safe. Bye. I refuse to pick one culture to embrace over the other. I strongly believe that I can keep my childhood memories themed in a culture while building my future through another culture in another part of the world. In less than two years time, I'll be eligible to get the Irish passport. And when that time comes, I'll be saying to myself, I don't need to choose. I am Iraqi and I am Irish. Ooh, I forgot the mic.